What's good, people? What's your boy, the Dean? Gamer Fit Nation. Ho hold on one second. Hold on a second. We 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 in the, we're in the, we're in the car right now. Before we get started, let's let's get into our driving form. All right. So we're gonna lean this seat back a little bit. How y'all in the back? Y'all good? Y'all good in the back? Good. All right. Great. 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 Now, as you can see, we're in the vehicle right now. You might be thinking, what does this have to do with CES? You know, what are, you, what are they doing right now? Look, I'm here with Derek right now, QNX, and we're about to talk about some extraordinary technology right here. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna let Derek kind of get into exactly what we're experiencing right now. So Derek, talk a little bit about the QNX and, and what it means to the future of, of our vehicles. So um, QNX is is in many, many cars today, right? I mean, it shipped in like 9 million cars last year, but this car really showcases the future, right? And it's a really about the whole experience of the car from an electronics perspective, the cockpit experience, right? Instrument cluster that's linked with what's in the infotainment system, how navigation actually shares information with various different systems in the car, how the car can actually feed information into the cloud, and how you can get information from the cloud in real time. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I know some of you know exactly what it's talking about, all right? Some of you might be thinking, oh, wait, 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 that sounds a little too good to be true. No, no, no. What this man means is that I, if you can swing around here and, and look at this dashboard right now, all right, this is all, this is, this is a display. This is all display right here, all right? Voice activation, you know, the customization, it's extraordinary. Now, can you talk a little bit about, um, you know, kind of the possibilities? Because as far as I'm concerned, the possibilities are, are quite endless when it comes to this technology. It's completely endless. You're absolutely right you now have the ability to make that look like whatever you want it to look like. And, you know, for example, if that, if that speedometer moved over to the side, you could put a map in there, Any, anything that you want. You know, there could be an off, we were in a Jeep, right? It could be an off-road app that actually moves in there that makes that entire experience just feel different. Plus, it's connected so they can continually update what it is you're actually Nice. are seeing there. Nice. Keep it fresh. Yeah, keep it uh, nice, nice. I mean, so it pulls from the cloud. It pulls from a, from a cloud type 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 deal and, and you can update things in real time, uh, uh, you know, on your dashboard as well as in wherever else the, the, the car manufacturer decides to put the, exactly. the, the platform, um, which is which is incredible. Now, uh, one thing we talked about before the interview was uh, safety. And, uh, and, you know, because we are in, in, a, in a car, um, and voice activation, I, I thought was was great because you know we, we don't want to necessarily start having to touch touch screen stuff. So safety was definitely a, a, a concern uh, as far as you guys creating newer technology for, for this. As as the car systems become more complex, the hardest thing about it is actually making it simple, right? You don't want anybody to be distracted. You don't never want somebody to actually grab their BlackBerry or their or their smartphone out of their pocket purse. You want to just leave it there, but you want that experience to actually layer into the car seamlessly. And to make that simple is actually really hard, but I think we've done it really well. For example, you can take your device and basically just touch the dashboard, it says beep, and all of a sudden it's paired. There's no more listening and fumbling around with trying to figure out how it works. It just happens that simply. And that's, a, that's the future, right? Making it simple. Plus, as you mentioned, voice. Voice is gonna be a big part of automotive in the future because people still wanna be productive when they're on the road, right? But I don't want the people to ever have to touch their device. They just leave it alone. But if you got some kind of update that's important to you, why not have the car tell you, hey, there's an update for you. Do you want to listen to it? Yeah, sure. Nice. Or no, not right now. Thanks, I'm busy. Right? Nice. And things like gesture recognition as well, where you can just wave things off nice. to say, you know, no, I don't want that right now. Nice. But when it's when it's when you're ready to do it, you can do it in a way that's safe. You know, you know what, man, Derek, I mean this is just something that you know, I think a lot of us just kind of dreamed about, you know, watching like Knight Rider and, and things like that. This, this is real, all right? The Dean, Derek, Gamerfit Nation, the future is here. It's right here. Peace.